In a spectacular campus, dotted with the most modern of contemporary architecture, stands a spectacular glass geodesic dome. And it houses a state-of-the-art multiplex. The requirement for this dome was that a uh, lot of light had to come in, but at the same time cut down on the heat. Saint Gobain uh, recommended a cool light aquamarine on the outside and parcel green glass on the inside. The advantage we had with this was that on the inside there is a natural light. None of the uh, objects that you see inside are tinted and uh, the uh, aquamarine glass uh, helped in cutting down the heat that came through. Glass is uh, one of the obvious and ideal materials, particularly in the configuration that uh, we have uh, used in this dome and subsequently in a couple of other domes also. We could use right angle triangle panels which almost practically eliminated all wastage in glass and that's how glass became po a popular material for, uh, uh, for geodesic dome cladding itself. We have worked with St. Gobain in the last uh, few years quite extensively. Number one, because they were in India, they were an international company, but they were manufacturing in India, so lead times were a, a, a big uh, uh, advantage with St. Gobain. In addition, the kind of support and uh, involvement that they showed both with us and as well as with the uh, clients, I think that, that made a difference. The dome not only showcases the futuristic focus of Infosys, it is also one of the most spectacular and unusual buildings in India. Made possible by the unique partnership between an architect, the client and Saint-Gobain.